In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 16 to 19. But to what shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to their companions and saying, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not lament. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton, a wine-biver, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her children. This, for me, looking on the surface, is a bit of a puzzle of a gospel reading to understand. It is important for us all to call on the Holy Spirit to help us understand what is being said here. Looking on the surface, it's talking about children sitting around and playing in the marketplace. And it goes on then about John the Baptist, when he came to the people, to those lost tribe of Israel, to call on them to repent and return to God. He came not eating or drinking, and they said he had a demon. Yet the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, came. He came eating and drinking with people. And their answer to that was, Look, he is a glutton and a wine liver, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. How can this be? But the wisdom is justified by her children. Now we're talking about, in this reading, of course, that generation when Jesus walked the earth. So many of them turned their back on God. And God loved the world so much, he sent his son to call them back to himself. And then we know what happened, of course. But there's something you need to think about for a moment. This reading is not just about that generation. But it's about the generation of today. Yes, today. How many have turned their back to God and followed the devil in the world? We are having the fast period of Advent. It's preparation time. The church always sets aside for special occasions a fasting period to prepare ourselves for this. And this is what we are going through now. We are preparing ourselves spiritually and physically, to celebrate the birth of Christ. There are many readings for this particular occasion during this Lenten fast. And what is it? It's the main theme is to repent 
of our worldly ways. To turn back to God, to God Almighty. We have turned our backs on God. We have decided to follow the world in all its sinful ways, turning our back to God. A God who loves us so much, His Son took on the form of man, sinful man, to look just like you and me. We are called so often. Even before John the uh, be even before Christ started his ministry, we had the forerunner of John the Baptist calling the people to repent. To those special chosen people who had turned their backs on God. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. That still goes for today too. We are waiting for the second coming of Jesus Christ. When he returned after his death and resurrection to heaven, the ascension to heaven, to be again with his father, he told us he would return and take us with him into his kingdom. But how many of us have turned our backs on him? It's been too long. Can't keep on doing the right thing. The world pulls us down. Satan pulls us down to the world. Instead of looking up to heaven, waiting on Jesus to return, it's too much. The power of the world, the influence on our lives, is too much. So many of us stop praying, stop going to church, receiving the sacraments that gives us the grace and the strength to fight in Satan. I urge you, and I will keep on urging you to my last breath. Repent, return to God, return to his church, <clears throat> fall on your knees, repent, turn back to God and his loving embrace. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.